So I'm standing just a few hundred meters below our new osprey webcam, which is on the uh, nest of where the uh, pair of ospreys nested for the first time last year. Um, but where I'm standing is very different to how it, it looked uh, a year ago when those two ospreys first chose to, to nest, nest here. And uh, in fact, it's, it's gonna look very different uh, for those birds as they hopefully return uh, in the next few days uh, to nest this season and what, what's changed is that uh, a year ago I would have been standing in the dark under the canopy uh, of uh, Sitka spruce trees um, that had been planted here in 1972. Uh, Sitka spruce trees are a non-native um, tree that originated uh, in, um, in the United States of America, um, introduced here to grow timber um, and we've removed it because you can see behind me here these amazing ancient Caledonian Scots pine trees um, that are several hundred years old and have survived uh, political turmoil, um, felling teams, a huge forest fire accidentally set by the commandos in 1942. Uh, you can probably see quite a lot of these old pine trees haven't made it and have actually um, been killed. Um, some of those quite recently by being completely overtopped and overshadowed uh, by those non-native Sitka spruce trees. And what's so exciting for me is to see these dead, dying and in some cases still living ancient pine trees having emerged from um, this, this dark Sitka spruce that completely hid them from view um, and finding so many interesting remnants of that ancient pine woodland, whether it's a, a rare lichen or a liverwort uh, or a, a little um, insect. And we, we've got hosts of these really rare, rare species uh, in the forest that are only associated with these Caledonian pine trees that have been in a forest uh, for thousands of years, really since, since the forest colonized here after the last, last ice age. And it, it is tragic seeing so few left and so many dead, um, but we have enough here that are still living, still producing seed. Um, what, what looks at first glance like a bit of an industrial wasteland of tree stumps that's been um, left after the, the spruce logs have all been removed um, in a year's time is going to be a baby forest with those um, seeds from the Scots pine and the other surrounding native trees um, will all be germinating just in the next few weeks here um, so hopefully not just uh, baby trees but also baby ospreys this year